So my name's Prue. I joined MSF in mid-2010. I studied fine arts when I graduated from high school and then I fell into ESL, teaching English as a second language, and moved around doing that for some years. And it's through that really that I then thought, I want to work in international development or humanitarian work. And so I went back to uni and I did a master's in international development. Mm -hmm. And then through that realized that actually it was health that I was most interested in. It was a good way to start, I can say, and HR is a huge part of being a coordinator. And as an HR, of course, you're dealing with everybody, all of your local staff, all of the international staff, and you come to understand how things fit together, and you learn a lot of communication and management skills along the way. Yeah, it was after my fourth assignment as an HR admin that I was offered um, to do the project coordination training and it was just lucky actually I was coming out of Syria and my pool manager called me and said oh somebody's backed out of the training would you like to do it um, and I was like yes please <laughs> that would be great I was doing the training the the chance to be a project coordinator in India came up mm -hmm. um, and that is, there are some positions that they try to keep for, you know, first timers in the position, um, you know, either because it's a relatively stable context or a stable project. Mm -hmm. um, so yes, I ended up in India for the first time as a PC. It's, it's challenging because of the, the way society is structured there with the caste system. Mm -hmm. And we're working in an area that's very tribal um, so there were very big divisions and, you know, status uh, divisions within the staff. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that was really quite challenging to work with. If you are accepted to work with MSF, um, be humble. Know that you're not going to change the world, but you are going to be part of something that's really useful and important for the people that you're working with and the patients you're treating, um, whether you're medical or non-medical, and learn from the environment that you're in, learn from your local colleagues, learn from you know, the international team that are already there.